the Electricity and Energy Ministry, together with the South African Nuclear Energy Corporation, are today celebrating the 60th anniversary of nuclear technology in Pelindaba. That's just outside Pretoria. Naxa is a state-owned entity which is focused on nuclear technology development. The event will mark some of the major achievements, including its nuclear science capabilities. Among other things, the research reactor produces life-saving isotopes, which are used in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer, uh, making a significant impact on healthcare, both locally and abroad. SABC News reporter Katle Holihodi is part of our team watching this story and joins us now live. And uh, again, Katle Holihodi, this is incredible innovation that stretches beyond just electricity generation, but other parts of life, including health. Of course, most definitely. A very good morning to you, Ayanda, and to our viewers at home. You still find us at Pelindaba, just outside uh, Pretoria. This is where we are marking 60 years of this work that has been done by Safari One uh, that has been celebrated here today. The work, as you say, transcends just uh, the country. South Africa moves into the globe as well in terms of medical research, but also uh, life-saving just achievements in terms of research around uh, cancer uh, just coming through here. Here on, we saw uh, the minister Dr. Hossein Soramukhopa, who was here uh, just walking around uh, this reactor, really uh, looking at the work that has been doing over time and how then we're looking at government moving to invest in the work that has been done by Nexa through the reactor to ensure that it continues to uh, play this pivotal role globally. Here uh, you find various of those role players in the nuclear space that are marking this milestone, Ayanda. You find the department as well just coming through to ensure that going forward uh, there is adequate support the minister earlier on even announcing funds that are going to be invested into Nexa, where this reactor is concerned, where they'll stretch it and try by all means to ensure that its work continues to have uh, so much of an impact. We're celebrated world over and we're here uh, today by those that are here, uh, that really when you look at it, South Africa is at the top of uh, this nuclear energy generation, but also looking at the fact that uh, when you look at how the work that has been done here over time moves into various of these countries, you see economy benefits that will come through uh, from the medical uh, isotopes that will move from here into various of these facilities. I'm going to bring uh, the CEO into the conversation now, Mr. Loi Sokjabashe, who will just give us a sense of why we find ourselves here. And I know uh, very well that it's a celebration, uh, but at the same time, you're taking stock of the work that has been, over, that has been done over time by uh, this reactor. We're celebrating it, and also there are those concerns coming through around its lifespan. And it talks around 2030 uh, being the end of life for uh, this reactor. Yector, but we hear that there are works in the pipeline uh, to ensure that the work that is being done here is supplemented. Welcome to the SABC. Uh, maybe just give us a sense of how important is it that we reflect and uh, the work that has been done upstairs via the reactor. Thank you very much. Um, we stand at the bottom of this infrastructure which was commissioned in 1965 and um, we are celebrating the 60 years of nuclear excellence. Um, right through the time and uh, it is a moment for us to take stock reflect look at the road that we've covered in terms of the contributions to society because science cannot just be science on its own if it doesn't solve societal problems ours is to make sure that we use the nuclear technology for human benefit one of the key benefits that you find today that have been building up since 1965, it is the isotopes that we get uh, for cancer treatment as well as industrial applications for non-destructive testing. We also do some irradiation of uh, some silicon ingots which are used in our cell phones, TV screen, TVs and a whole lot of other electronics applications. Nuclear is everywhere we, where you find it, where you find ourselves. Um, we also do we get involved in some agricultural related projects, the sterile insect program, which helps to abate malaria and the impact of malaria in uh, malaria driven uh, ridden places. So as I'm saying, we need to find impact and that's the stock that we are taking and saying right where we are at 60 years, how does the future look? How many more isotopes are needed to treat different kinds of um, um, ailments that we find around the globe? So that's important. It's a milestone that we are here to celebrate. We are happy to have the minister and the deputy minister in our midst um, as we will proceed through the day. Coming back to the reactor life, as we're saying 60 years, the license life, and I need to correct the wording, the license life is end of 2030. It's not the end of life. These plants have been designed with so much conservatism um, in their design, in the original designs. But when we do our analysis, we find that we can still take them further. We've been doing what we call the aging management program 
implementing changing components that have become obsolete, re-engineering and redesigning some of the systems that need to be changed to make sure that the plan can go forward. We are working through the guidance of the regulator in terms of the regulations that we need to follow, as well as the peer-reviewed uh, mechanisms in the form of safe operations of uh, long-term operations um, through the International Atomic Energy Agency. So the two, we're hoping they will converge and ensure that when you submit a license extension or license renewal, then we'll be in a good space with the NNR. So we want to drive this asset. Uh, we need to sweat the asset for as long as we can safely. At the same time, in parallel, we start working on a future replacement, which is not only going to be tomorrow, but in the near horizon. Mr. Tabashe, I really appreciate your time this morning. I'm going to bring into the conversation as well Ayanda uh, with us, the DDG coming through uh, from the Department of Energy and Electricity, who will just give us a sense of the work that has been done here. Also looking at the importance of supporting uh, some of these entities that fall under uh, the department. We saw, uh, for instance, latest news coming out of the United States around some of the developments around funds being pulled where research is concerned, becoming very important uh, that government then pull its resources here at home to support some of the work that has been done by the likes of Nexa. Uh, we find you here today, uh, DDG. Give us a sense of uh, where uh, we really are looking at investing and supporting the work that has been done uh, by Nexa through Safari One. Thank you very much and uh, good morning to the viewers at home. This is a momentous occasion. Uh, as a department, we are here to congratulate uh, Nexa for the exceptional work that uh, they have done over the years. We are celebrating a momentous occasion for the 60 years of uh, nuclear excellence through the Safari Research Reactor. That has been the workhorse to position South Africa as the anchor of a nuclear reactor in the region and globally. We are one of the leaders in the area of uh, nuclear research reactors and uh, nuclear technology in as far as uh, our production of uh, radioisotopes that uh, we market globally into some of the most uh, advanced countries and that's our strength in South Africa and also as we know that uh, nuclear is uh, part of our integral part of our energy mix in South Africa. Remember in South Africa, we're also generating electricity for over 40 years uh, using the Kubek nuclear power station, which provide clean base load electricity uh, that supplies about 5% of the electricity into the grid. But also Safari being our anchor for our research going forward, we are going to support Nexa to make sure that we can move to complement uh, the aging safari with a new multi-purpose reactor for which uh, the minister has uh, already this morning announced that there's a, a huge investment that this government we have made a start of uh, 1.2 billion has already been allocated to nexa to continue uh, planning this uh, multi-purpose reactor and we've been working together with nexa as the department in terms of the planning of the multi-purpose reactor and there's some key milestones that have already been achieved as part of that uh, work going forward and this uh, new multi-purpose reactor yes. it's even much more uh, greater in terms of what it can do to south africa in terms of uh, providing a massive infrastructural development for the country creating number of uh, uh, jobs that our country needs yeah. and we look forward into the future and the future is bright for nuclear in South Africa yeah. and as a country we look to become self-sufficient meaning that we need to participate and leverage on our yeah. resources from cradle to grave to make sure that as a country we become self-sustainable in terms of our positioning and our development of nuclear technology awesome. globally. It's all about nuclear innovation. DDG, I want us to leave it here uh, for this morning. DDG Mbambo coming through, joining the CEO of uh, Nexa. This being Mr. Lois Sochabashe. Earlier on, we also saw uh, the minister opening a plague here, whereby they were marking uh, this particular facility. And you hear that uh, plans are afoot to ensure that the support where uh, the life of this facility is concerned.